Hello guys, so welcome to another Power BI YouTube tutorial and for today's video, I will share you on how to create this simple report design that even beginners can actually copy this kind of concept. So if you are ready, let's jump right into it. So before we start with creating our report design, let me just share to you what are the data sets that we need. So we have here brand, category, employee, all of the images, links, managers, products, our main data set, shoes and technology. We also have states and store type. Now, if we go to model, you would see here that all of our data set is connected to our issues and technology data. Now we can start creating our report design. So first, let's go to view, under page view, actual size, and then under visualizations, let's go to format report page. Under wallpaper, we will select this color, and then let's go to canvas background for color. What we'll do is we'll change the background to this hex code 313447 and for transparency we'll make this 0% and when creating a report design what we'll do is we'll start from top to down and also from left to right so the first thing that we will do is we'll import all of the images first into our report so to do that Let's go to insert and then select this image icon here. And then let's highlight all by pressing control A. And then let's go to general under format. Okay. Properties and then height will be 74. And what we'll do is we'll put all of our images here in the right side since we'll use this later on. So let's proceed with our header and then for this logo, our height would be 47 and let's resize the width here and we'll put our company name, Shoes and Technology. Let's go to insert text box. We'll type in Shoes and Technology and then we'll change the font style to this one and then the font size is 16 or around this and then we'll select bold and then let's resize this manually and let's remove the background so let's go to effects and then turn off the background and for the font color we'll select white and let's have it here then let's add an information icon here and the uh, style will be line color is white and then for action we'll turn that on under tooltip we'll paste our disclaimer so what will happen when we hover into this icon we'll see our disclaimer and then let's have let's make it a little bit smaller so here and let's go back to style we'll change the weight into say two pixels great and then let's add one more text box here we'll paste our disclaimer and then Go to effects, turn off the background here, and the font style is okay. The font size will be 8, and uh, the font color will be white. And then we'll resize this manually to somewhere like in the middle. Okay. And our next step will be we'll create a filter here, a horizontal filter. So to do that, let's select filter or slicer. And then let's go to our data set. Let's select under transaction, under data hierarchy, we'll select the year. 
and you will see here arrow icon will select that let's select list go to format your visual under slicer settings instead of vertical we'll select horizontal and then let's go to values under border we'll untick all of this and then for the background we'll select this color so if you're wondering what color is this that's two five two four and two three and then for font color we'll select white let's go to slicer header let's untick the header and then go to general under effects we'll turn off the background as well and then we don't want to see the blanks here what we'll do is we go to filters and then basic filtering we'll select all untick blank and then we'll resize it again manually or we can go to properties under height we'll type in 35 let's go back to visual for under values for background let's change it to 323F5D and then let's have it here now we have our filter here once we click any option you would see that the selected option has a different color versus the unselected options our next step is we'll create our customized card here so under insert select this rounded rectangle let's put it here shape will be around like uh, four or even five five percent rounded corners under style fill color is white and then border will be this one and we will resize this as well manually and let's select a card visual and then what will measure is the revenue that will be sum of revenue and then we'll change the name of the visual to total revenue and then let's go to the format under category label we'll change the size to 9 and then color is okay let's go to call out value we'll change the font style to this font style and then around just 21 and then click bold for color let's have this color instead and then let's go to general under effects turn off the background resize it here like in the middle of our custom card container and we'll put our logo here in custom card container let's start with this one and then we'll resize it manually like in, just make sure that it's in the middle and then you would notice that our rounded rectangle is on top of our image so the solution is really easy let's go to format and then under send backward let's select send to back let's change the size of our card container let's go to general properties under height it should be 170 and then with is 165 okay and then what we'll do is we'll copy our card and our card container and we'll do this three more times and then we'll send all of this to back so under format let's select send to back let's move this logo into here then say this one put it here and then this one 
here and this one here okay okay so the reason why we copy and paste both card and our card container is that we don't want to do everything repeatedly and we just want to make sure that all of the properties of this card visuals are already aligned and for the card what we'll do is we will filter based on the brand so for this card we will select this and also here that will be DC for this the brand will be this and for Nike of course we'll select Nike here for this brand we'll select this too all right and our problem is probably they are not aligned on top so let's go to format after selecting all of this then align top all right and then we'll do the same to all of our images so that will be line top first okay 